Clinical trials. You may have heard of them, but what are they? And how do they impact your health and the health of those around you? JDRF is here to explain. Clinical trials are studies where real people help scientists and doctors figure out if new treatments are safe and effective. Every medical breakthrough in history went through a clinical trial. Today, many people with type 1 diabetes wear what is called a continuous glucose monitor, or CGM, which provides real-time blood sugar readings. This helps them better control their blood sugar and potentially avoid long-term complications, such as vision loss or kidney disease. But CGMs weren't really utilized until about 20 years ago. So how do medical devices and treatments go from an idea in a research lab to being used by millions of people around the world? Clinical trials. Here's how clinical trials work. First, researchers test the device or medication in a laboratory or preclinical setting. This is the preclinical phase. Based on these lab results, the Food and Drug Administration approves research to be conducted with people. After preclinical, testing moves to phase one. Phase one is all about safety. A small group of clinical trial volunteers are carefully selected to examine how their treatment affects the body, whether it should be provided with a pill, injection, or other means, and what the dosage should be. Phase two tests the treatment with a larger group of clinical trial volunteers with the disease or condition for which it's being developed. On average, 100 to 300 people will help to determine side effects and effectiveness. Phase three compares the new treatment to treatments that are already available. Several thousand volunteers are typically needed for this phase. If the new treatment is found to be effective, then it is made available to the public. Now that you know what clinical trials are, you may be wondering, are they safe? FDA regulations require that clinical trial volunteers be provided with thorough explanation of the study, including potential risks. Throughout the study, participants are in a regular contact with doctors, nurses, and other healthcare providers who rigorously monitor their health, and clinical trials are completely voluntary. You or your child can change your mind at any time for any reason. JDRF regularly funds clinical trials in many areas of research that aim to improve and create new therapies for people living with type 1 diabetes and its complications. Our ultimate goal is to discover potential cures for type 1 diabetes. But unfortunately, many clinical trials are delayed or fail because doctors can't find enough participants. That's why JDRF encourages everyone to consider participating in clinical trials to help further our mission to accelerate life-changing breakthroughs to treat, prevent, and cure type 1 diabetes and its complications. As a clinical trial volunteer, you are playing a crucial part in future medical discoveries and helping future patients. Learn more about clinical trials and find opportunities to get involved at jdrf.org clinicaltrials clinical trials.